Hi, it's Mara Coleman in Kansas City. Before we do our tour today, I want you to stop and click subscribe so that you get these videos once a week all about Kansas City and Kansas City neighborhoods. So today, my sidekick, Lennis, and I are going to show you Roland Park. Now, Roland Park is a darling town. It's its own city within the suburbs of Kansas City. It's on the Kansas side, and we'll talk a little bit about uh, the difference between Kansas and Missouri. There is a, a state line. If you're not from here, you don't maybe understand that because it's kind of confusing, but we'll talk a little bit about where Roland Park is on the state line, how far it is from the Missouri side, and just kind of where it's located. We're gonna do a quick drive around all of the city and kind of give you an overview of what you can find in Roland Park. Are you ready? Are you ready, Glennis? She's ready. The city of Roland Park is about 10 minutes from downtown. And again, it's on the Kansas side of the state line. So it is in Johnson County. It is about eight minutes from the plaza, which is also in Kansas City, Missouri. So we are just, it's a really centrally located city on the Kansas side, kind of a suburb. Um, it is nestled between Westwood, Fairway, Mission, and Kansas City, Kansas. And this city lines border, it's a kind of a zigzaggy kind of um, borderline from 47th Avenue, which is called so called County Line. On the other side of that is Kansas City, Kansas, and Johnson Drive. And then on the east and west sides, it's bordered by Mission Road and Knoll. So it's, it's not huge, but it's not super tiny. <laughs> How helpful is that? I did a search on uh, home prices in Roland Park in the last six months, and there were it's a really healthy range between about 175,000 up into 400,000. There was one new build that I found that was sold within the last six months, which was a scrape and rebuild like we're seeing in Prairie Village a lot of, and some in um, Fairway and uh, Leewood, but that one went for six seventy five. The so, majority of the homes sold were in the middle two hundreds. So it's a modest neighborhood, and it's fairly affordable. Roland Park is home to quite a few schools. For being such a small little city, we have Bishop Miege, which is the Catholic high school. It's co-ed, and we also have Saint Agnes. Oh, Glenda's got stuck. We also have Saint Agnes Elementary which is K through eight Catholic school as well. There is part of the Shawnee Mission School District and I know there's at least one elementary school. There might be two, I'll have to double check. And these schools, the Shawnee Mission schools feed into Shawnee Mission North High School. Well, one of the things I like about Roland Park in general is the variety of homes. There's so many different kinds of architecture here. There's so much, so much variety and character left, and um, and you really can can find almost anything. We are kind of right up next to the state line or county line, which is 47th Street, and. There's a little patch of homes here that are on the other side of County Line, including some brand new ones, some new builds, which are fun to see. And then we're also very close to Mission Road, which is the border to Westwood, uh, which is another little, it's, it's its own town. We're still on the Kansas side, but Mission Road is the uh, eastern border. So with this whole city overview that I'm trying to show you, I'm, I'm really going to hit all corners of the, the city of Roland Park. So now I have moved a little bit farther west and I'm bumped up almost to Row Boulevard itself, which houses all kinds of uh, amenities, great shops, uh, mostly big box stores, but there's a fantastic price chopper over there that has wonderful produce and really good ethnic foods. Um, my favorite Aldi is over here off of Row. Pretty much anything you would need is there um, in Roland Park on Row. And that's kind of what is directly to the east. No, the west of where we are right now. So um, I'm going to show you, again, we have the big diversity of 
homes and architectural styles and ages and sizes and then a, a couple scrapes and rebuilds just right smack dab in the middle of it. These lots are um, medium. <laughs> they're not as big as the last little neighborhood that I took you through, but they're not tiny either. So they're good size lots. One thing that sets Roland Park apart from some of the other uh, small cities in Johnson County is they have their own community center. So Roland Park Community Center has a, a gym in there, all kinds of activities. It has a tennis dome so you can play tennis in the winter and a full aquatic center. There have been so many updates and improvements with this community center in the past few years. It's just grown tremendously and it's really quite spectacular all kinds of volunteer opportunities as well and kids programs um, the, the link will be in the notes below now as we continue driving around um, this is a, a little neighborhood right in front of the community center it, it's kind of in my mind what Roland Park looks like we did our first when Sam and I first got married we lived for a year in a rental in this neighborhood and we really loved it um, most of these homes are on a slab not many of them have basements often there are two maybe three bedrooms one full bath maybe another half bath uh, one car garage they're just cute little tiny homes the great starter homes or uh, for retired people or you know if you're downsizing and you can you know find one that has enough room for your whole family or yourself in your office and um, whatever you might need so there's again the variety of um, architectural styles here is wonderful as well as sizes of homes Now we've crossed back over row again. Now we're on the east side of row and you can see these have gotten a little bit bigger. We're moving into two car garage homes and um, some of them are Cape Cods. We look a little bit more like Prairie Village, I think. And you know, they're just a little bit larger. These are probably in the upper end of homes in Roland Park around you for upper 300s up into the 500s. So again, the diversity is interesting and, and I think pretty, pretty wonderful to see, to be quite honest. We're also right up next to the city of Fairway here in this area of Roland Park. And when we talk about how centrally located Roland Park is, just a little bit to our south is Johnson Drive. With um, a whole, Johnson Drive has improved so much um, with their locally owned shops, coffee shops, restaurants, all kinds of great things. And that I actually had a studio right there on Johnson Drive for many years with my past business, uh, but a creative collective of 
uh, small businesses and it's it's a charming walkable um, kind of just neat little neighborhood um, shops they also do have a Saturday or Sunday market which is awfully fun I hope you have enjoyed our unofficial tour of Roland Park. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I can't wait to see you next time. If you forgot to like and subscribe, do that right now. Thanks so much.